we've got another tip from the workbench here. And this one's more of a tip on uh, keeping yourself in good repair. Occasionally in the past, I've mentioned things that have happened and things I found that would um, help me correct damage I did to myself or keep damage from happening because I'm kind of interested in that. Besides, now that I have passed the big 7-0 on the uh, anniversary calendar there, and I've noticed that the parts aren't always as strong uh, or as resistant from tearing, uh, bleeding, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, as they used to be. Now, I know the rest of you guys are all in your 20s uh, and still in the Mega Man phase, but there are those of us who aren't. Now, all right, what is this? Well, this is called Five Second Fix. I'm sure you've seen it on TV a million times. Let me open it up and show you what you got here. Keith showed you this a couple of months ago. Um, and what it does is you put a little bit of glue from this end on an item and then you press the button here and you'll see that you got blue light. Well, that blue light uh, is actually ultraviolet. And what the ultraviolet does is it causes the glue itself to turn over and begin to cure immediately. Now you see it and you go, oh yeah, yeah, I really need that. Sure, that's all BS. Well, I'm here to tell you it isn't exactly. Uh, and uh, let me put a little bit of dab uh, hits on here. Okay, and put the uh, lid back on. If I can get it back on straight here. Oh, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is take this toothpick and I'm going to put it down in here. And I'm going to squeeze this and turn that light on. Wow. Okay. There you go. Now, uh, it takes a moment or two, but that's already going on there. And it takes probably about two or three, maybe five minutes, so that it's not tacky to the touch. Um, but let me show you what I do with this. Let me move that out of the way. Um, I'm sure that particularly those of you who are uh, approaching your golden years and uh, extending your brilliance in the field have noticed that yeah, rip up your fingernails in particular. Now, I've showed things a number of years ago how I fixed that because I have a thumbnail in particular that just splits constantly and it just splits right down the, the edge there. And I get it finally grown out, being careful, and then you stick it in your pocket or you do something, you catch it, and boom, it rips, you know, half, uh, you know, quarter of an inch down here and you say bad words. Well, I finally found something that really works great. You will notice here if I get this in the correct, there we go. You see this right up here and across the front here? That's that five second glue. And what I do is when it happens is I take some, uh, after I stop saying bad words and practicing my uh, old English vocabulary, I take some uh, ethyl alcohol because I find that works best for cleaning and I make sure I clean underneath the fingernail and on top of the fingernail. Um, and then um, I just take the, uh, the glue thing here and I put a nice, a reasonably heavy coat down on there and it's got that little needle point. So I actually put it underneath uh, the fingernail too. So I've got it underneath there. And then I go ahead and I press down on whichever side of this allows the other one to stay up. So I actually get the goop down in the split in the nail. And then I let it sit for maybe 10, 15 seconds or so until it lays down smooth. And once that happens, boom, I'm on that like a bug with the, with the, uh, the light here. Now you need to follow the directions. Um, it says don't go too long. I don't remember what the exact time length is, but about five seconds. And I'm here to tell you that that heats up and it heats up hot. Uh, and the first time I did that, I thought, holy smokes, I'm going to have a huge blister under my fingernail there where that stuff was. Well, not so. It's unpleasant, but certainly not unbearable. Uh, and the next thing you know, in just a few seconds, uh, if you touch it, you can feel that it feels just the tiniest bit tacky. 
but you're not leaving fingerprints on it. So it's already done. In about an hour or so, it's probably about as hard as it's going to get. Uh, and I have had that stuff stay on there for three, four months. Uh, and as it grows out, I gradually add a little bit more uh, below it. So as it grows out, I can clip it off, clip it off, clip it off till I finally get to the bottom of where it was split and then eventually let it come off. And then I don't put it back on because I'm not thinking until it splits again. So any event, a really, really handy item. It's the best I've ever found in 20 years. And this seems to be doing it for me perfect now. I don't remember exactly what the cost is, but if you go to five second, the numeral five, I'll put that back up there, fivesecondfix.com, uh, you will find it. Uh, it comes in a kit like this. Um, it also comes uh, with just the uh, refills and you can buy 50,000 other attachments and accoutrements and things that in theory make it better and can drive that 10 or $15 price up to 75 if you really work at it. But I bought the basic one and bought two or three extra cartridges and one extra entire unit. Uh, and I've probably used it 30, 40 times now uh, over the years on this and that, this and the other things. Uh, and I've still got plenty left. So just one of those items that's going to make your life a lot easier.